Let's do shadows on curved surfaces. This is going to be the same light sources we've been using for a while. Um, the parallel light where the sun is 90 degrees to the left or right of where the viewer is looking. And I'm going to make the sun to the left. So here we have this, this is curved surface. This is a one point perspective. This is a lot like um, like like this one that we did last time with just this inclined surface, but how, now we have a curved surface. So with one point perspective, see like this, these two curves are the same curve, they're just smaller and this one's the bigger, but um, it's one point perspective. So all of this surface is parallel to the picture plane. So it's um, this line, <clears throat> the, the shadow of this stick is coming and hitting at this at a 90 degree angle. So the, um, the shadow going along this curve, this little like S curve is going to be that same S curve, just like, just like this one where they are, where they are all like parallel with each other. So this is kind of the same situation. The thing with curve lines, with any curve lines, what you need to do is find points along the curve and then you just connect those dots. So we have this, well, um, the sun's directly to the left. So our shadow is going to be going to the right. It's going along the floor. Here's the ground line. And it hits this and it's gonna be following this curve. So the best way to get this curve is just to find points along that curve. We're just taking these points along this curve and we're just scooting them over. So I'm just gonna pick out some random points, maybe just like three of them. Maybe here, here, we'll do that one, kind of like roughly evenly spaced. I'm gonna transfer these over to this, this side. So probably like, there's a few ways to do it. There's a few, few ways to do everything in perspective. So I'm just gonna wrap this over to this back wall and then take this back to the center vision. Take this one back to the center vision and take this ground line. I'm gonna draw this back wall in here. Okay, take this, this ground line and head along the floor, like if this curved was surface wasn't here and hit this wall, right? And then it's gonna go up the wall. And that's an end point there. And there's an end point there. I just need to find some intermediate points along this. So this is, this green dot's going along to this back wall and then it's hitting that line. And then you take that and bring it over until it intersects right there. And we do that with the, all the points. And the more points you do, the more accurate the curve will be. And there's another point. You don't have to go across. Sometimes you want to go down, and let's let's do that with this last one. You could just bring it. All you're doing is creating an intersection, bringing this back along the floor, bring this back to the center vision, and then when it comes down and hits this blue line, then straight up until. You, then you have an intersection there. So we got these three points. And then like a nice steady hand, a good French curve will help to make it nice and smooth. But I am just gonna freehand this there. So there is your shadow, easy. And then it's just gonna keep going up the surface until the light angle comes in and whatever the light angle is. And then the light angle gives you the end of this shadow. So one, well, another one.
there's this one, like this one. Um, this is in two point perspective. So it's going over here to this left vanishing point. So this one's a little bit different. Although intuitively, you kind of want to make it the same curve as all of these. Like we have the ground line. We make the ground line of this go along the floor. And then it hits the surface. And we kind of want to do what we did with, with this one and just make it follow that same curve. But which would work if this was a one point perspective um, curved surface. Let's going over here to the left vanishing point. I mean, to show you how it's different, like that's what we did with this one. You see, it's not parallel with these. So let's take this and we'll extend this out. We'll make this so you could see through it. That is often helpful. And so we, we this, the shadow goes along the floor and hits this wall. This is just a vertical wall. So the shadow of this stick would just head up this vertical wall. And so there is an endpoint there. And there's an endpoint there. So the shadow has to connect with this point. You just need to find like some intermediary points along here. I think I'll just make two of them. And this is the same procedure as we did before. I'll just like make maybe one here and one here. And you can do like a lot more of them if you wanted to. So here's just going to uh, draw a line that goes to the left vanishing point. And this one would go to right vanishing point as it hit this wall. And then it's coming over to the left vanishing point. And then when it hits this blue line, this is just going straight across like that. So this also straight across like that. And you get like that point. Okay, do the same thing with the other side. Well, or with the other dot. Go along here, hits this wall. Goes along the back wall. This one, left vanishing point. When it hits this, it goes straight across until it hits this green line. So when you connect these, The shadow goes going that way. See, a little bit different than the curve here and the curve here. So it keeps going until um, the light angle hits it. Just make up that light angle. And that would be the end of the shadow right there. So we did these um, spheres before. We did the shadow of this, this sphere. And um, it's kind of complicated. So I cleaned it up and just made a simple one. So this is um, like, a, we did this in one point perspective. You could see this box. And there's a few ways to get the answer to this, but I think I'll, I'll show you what probably my go to would be, because I think this is like the easiest approach to it. As your shadow runs along the floor, and let's just, here's the shadow of this stick going along the floor and we just extend it out. And so this, because they overlap here, then you know that the shadow of the stick is gonna be on this ball. So um, where is it going to be along this ball? Here's one method that we use. Let's see, we took this and I wanna use the same light angle, which was this 45 degree angle. So I'm going to take this 45 degrees and then where it intersects here, where the shadow of the stick intersects with the shadow of this ball, with the terminator of the ball, you take that 45 degree angle and you project it backward like that. So I'm taking this intersection and I'm falling like backward engineering it to the point where the shadow of the stick 
on this this ball where the shadow of the stick um, intersects with the terminator. So do the same thing over here. This one, 45 degrees, and that's where the shadow of the stick hits the shadow of the terminator up here on the, the sphere. So because this is um, this is a, a sphere, if you slice a sphere like any place on the sphere, what you're going to get is a circle. That's going to be the, the result of the intersection. You know, you take a, a sphere and then you slice sliced part of it off. No matter where you slice it, that surface is going to be a circle. Right, so this one, since the sun is directly to the left, the shadow of this stick that goes across this sphere is going to be a piece of a circle, like a compass circle. Here is the middle of this. This is where the sphere touches this box. This, this is going to the center vision, this line. So I'm going to put my compass right there, my compass point. Uh, let's see if I can get that roughly right there. Okay, so there's where the center of my compass will be. Don't think I put that in the correct center. It's okay. There. So this is the shadow of this stick on the ball. This this part is you see it from here to here, from here to here, that part inside the shadow is this part. So that's it. Those are the shadows on curved surfaces. I think we're going to like be done with this parallel light system and we'll do something a little more exciting and, and do uh, put the sun in front of the viewer so the shadows are coming out toward the, the viewer and not just like running parallel to the horizon line. Maybe we do some little more um, interesting things instead of just sticks.